Hello everybody and welcome back to this uh, to this uh, short video computer trainings. Uh, today we'll have a look on how to create a, a batch file, a script basically to uninstall and re reinstall a SCCM 1012 or 2007 client that didn't install properly. Um, normally you will, you will do that, you will do that from the SCCM management console, but uh, Sometimes uh, you need you need to do that manually just because the SCM console doesn't want to push the client for some reason or um, any other reason that, that you can think of, right? So um, first, what you're going to have to do first uh, when you install uh, a SCM so server in program files in the SCM SMS and the sitecode, uh, there is a folder named client. That actually contains the exe for installing the uh, SCM client, basically the configuration manager. This is also the exe used by by the SCM console, right? So this is this is the one you want to use. So you need to share that folder, and uh, then you can access it from your network by the name of the server and the, and the name of the share. For us, it's client, right? So what we're gonna do, we will use that share. So let's see, it's gonna be server name dot domain dot com slash client and the CCM setup setup dot exe slash uninstall. This command with will um effectively uninstall the, the SCM client so the configuration manager um, we you also want to just make sure you want to remove all the deals created by um, by the um, by the client and those will be in Windir and you're gonna have three folders CCM setup CCM and CCM cache right so we're gonna do remove deer S slash Q so it doesn't ask you anything and we're gonna do win there and CCM setup. This is the first folder and then I'm gonna copy this statement two times. I'm gonna change the names of the folders. We have CCM and the other one is CCM cache. So you want to make sure you delete all these folders just to be on a safe side that uh, when you're trying to install the client again, <coughs> the exe does not see these folders and uh, assumes that uh, the client is already installed. Now to install it, we use the same system setup.exe. We're gonna copy it from here, paste it, but this time the switches are gonna be different. We're gonna do a no service. Let's slash no service. And you also want you might want to specify the site code, right? So we're gonna specify the site code. It should be a three-letter code, so let's say XXX, right? It should be a three three-letter code for for your site code. So there you have it. This should be basically you can you can take this um, text file, rename it as a as a bat file, and just run it on your on your computer so you can distribute it via PSXX if you want or just run it. Remember, you need to be an admin on on the on the PC to actually install the uh, SCM client. So you need to make sure you're you're an administrator on that PC. And also, the user that you use needs to have access to this share right here. Right. You can also insert. Let's see. Let's insert a, a pause here. You want to insert a pause in the script just to make sure that the client finishes the uninstall before you start deleting these deals right here. So usually how you install um 
how you set up of course will be a pin to the loopback address so let's say 500 pings 127.0.0.1 and we're going to do a norm as well okay and the new item is set one over here as well just to make sure the ping minus n 1200 127.0.0.1 there you have it I'm gonna copy this um, script in the description for the video as well so you guys can uh, change the name of the server and use it that's basically it I guess uh, as I said make sure the user that you uh, have logged in is, a, is an admin on the PC and can access the shell Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and don't forget to check out our blog watermarked on the bottom of the video. Thank you.